Hey guys, we're coming back to you from Mummert Wide Lock and we're building a better 312 out of our 292 and today we're going to talk about the camshaft. You know, this is a topic of uh, wild discussions, a lot of numbers get thrown around and uh, I know some of you know about the numbers but some of you always sit back and say, well what does that mean? What does that mean? So uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at it. We're going to look at the cam we're running, which is in red. This is what we call our 280. Um, it's on a 110 lobe center. So the lobes from center line to center line are 110 degrees apart. Now the other lobes that are here are here as reference. So you'll have an idea of how big this cam is or uh, what this cam looks like relative to others so uh, in black these are stock this is a ECZA that I pulled out of the file and I put them here uh, so you could see them and then in purple these are uh, lobes out of a drag car so you can basically see okay well here's stock in black uh, I think it's about three, 385 ish lift on the valves. And these are at the valve. So the lobes were measured on the cam doctor. And then because we have the cam doctor and all the computer power, we're able to add the rocker ratio to it. And then we're able to minus out the lash so we can actually see the real running. Um, valve movement and valve timing figures so you've got your stock 312 cam here in black with your 154 rockers uh, this is our Mummert 280 cam and right now we have it in here with 154s and then this is a bigger ISKI grind that we've run in the drag car before um, and this is simulated with 17s just so you uh, you can actually see the real difference you know this is how we're running it in the car so this is how we want you to see it um, but yeah there they are and you're here looking at the different uh, basic amounts of area in timing and in lift so one thing we were talking about was uh, dynoing this engine with some different rocker ratios actually uh, putting it in like three different formats, you know, so that uh, without changing the short block at all, you would be able to sort of see, you know, the engine in three different scenarios. So one scenario might be running the engine with a one four three rocker, a smaller carburetor, and uh, a few things that basically make the engine milder. And we'll look at the power output and the idle vacuum and the idle speed and some things like that and then you know kind of stepping the engine up you know putting on the 154 rockers um, a little bit bigger carburetor uh, maybe a little bit bigger header and then eventually moving up to 17 rockers uh, possibly trying the single plane intake you know seeing if we can't squeak a few more horsepower out of it so that's uh, and I think that my the most interesting part to that for me is that you're you're not changing the short block or you're not really tearing the engine apart you're just seeing the engine in three uh, distinctly different formats and seeing you know how it affects the idle the vacuum power output uh, RPM range things like that for example let me change the color on this to blue uh, if we bring up our 280 lobe and I'm just gonna bring it up on the exhaust side here yeah this is with a 143 so the red is 154 if we were to take the same cam and put a set of the 143 ratio rockers which are real easy to find and and they made them a lot of years um, you can kind of see that the cam would get a lower lift um, the, the very low lift duration does change, but it really scrubs the most of the area off the top. 
and it you know it's certainly still quite a bit bigger cam than stock but uh, it's enough to uh, make the engine milder and then if we were to take and bump the rocker ratio up to one seven um, I'm gonna change color for you guys let's see if I can find a color that's well white's well, not too bad so here you go you've got red and then the white and the blue uh, red is where our basic baseline or the plan to run it in the car is with 154s but uh, with the 143s you can see it getting milder and then if we were to bump it all the way up to 17 rocker arms it's certainly not a drag camshaft because a lot of that's determined uh, by this area over here kind of your total duration well, it has more to do with uh, the RPM than, say, the exact lift of it. You know, the, the duration or the time here from valve opening over to here to the closing, that has more to, uh, that affects the RPM range more than the lift does, okay? The lift usually doesn't affect the RPM range as much as it, effects kind of what it, it will do in that rpm range it, it, it has a small effect i mean the more uh valve opening area you have the the more air the engine gets and it can it can extend the rpm range a little bit but not like actually physically changing the opening and closing points will those were will really have the main um control over your idle speed and your power band so yeah this is all for reference though uh, looking at the camshafts and drag racing looking at your camshafts and stock and then um, seeing you know how we can manipulate uh, the red lobe that we want to use by uh, altering the rocker ratios around and some of the other components on the engine but uh, anyway guys i hope this wasn't too much for you um you know with this cam thing i mean we can get really weird you know we can take it too far i don't know how much you guys want to see or interested in but um you know we can start looking at valve velocities we can start looking at accelerations we can look at actual jerk and things like that you know and i know that all of a sudden you guys might go, oh, wait, I don't get it. So um, some of you guys might want to know more about these things. You know, what's valve jerk, what's uh, acceleration, and how does the velocity all pertain to me. But I figured for today, just getting started, I'd kind of give you a brief example of what we want to run, what we can do with it, and how it compares to stock, and how it compares to drag race. So...